the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. message on this Ash Wednesday of the 14th of February 2024 broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University Roma Italy by your servant Father Eustace Siame a Salesian of Don Bosco we listen to lessons on prayer almsgiving and fasting Today we have begun a 40-day journey of Lent known as Quadragesima. It is 40 days but actually we have 46 days up to Easter Sunday. And these 46 days are days when we are supposed to check ourselves and see how our relationship with our God is. And the tools to help us in these are three, which are known as the three pillars of our faith. That is prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. Let us begin with prayer. Our Heavenly Father eagerly awaits our prayers, for He longs to have a personal relationship with each one of His children. And the prayer I want us to pray is not the prayer similar to that we get when we go to a witch doctor who gives us prescriptive remedies. Prayer is not prescriptive. Prayer is not something that you pray as a duty. Maybe I do this and this, like people asking me, Father, give me the prayers I should pray for me to deal with this situation that I am going through, the financial situation. Do you have a novena for that? And when you pray that novena and answers don't come, then you start saying, what happened? What have I not done? What you have not done? is creating a relationship with your God because that's exactly what prayer should do. Through prayer, we open up our hearts and souls to God's presence, allowing Him to work in our lives according to His perfect will. Remember, prayer is not just about asking for things. It's also about surrendering ourselves entirely to God's guidance and seeking His wisdom in all aspects of life. In times of doubt or hardship, let us turn to prayer as our refuge. Pour out your heart before God without hesitation, knowing that He listens attentively to every word. Even when the answers seem delayed or different from what we expect, trust that God knows what is best for us and that he is working all things together for our good. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Our second pillar of faith is almsgiving, the act of selfless giving to those in need. As followers of Christ, we are called to be compassionate towards others and share the blessings we have received with those less fortunate. By practicing almsgiving, we demonstrate the love of Christ in tangible ways. Remember the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 25 verse 40, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. When we give generously from a place of genuine love and compassion, we not only meet physical needs but also provide hope and encouragement to those who may be struggling. Finally, fasting. Voluntarily abstaining from certain foods or activities for a spiritual purpose is what we call fasting. Fasting humbles us and helps us refocus our attention on God. 
It is not merely about denying ourselves, but rather seeking a deeper connection with our Heavenly Father. During times of fasting, we can use the extra time and energy to seek God's face through prayer, meditation, and studying His Word. We will love so many rich texts during this period of Lent. Let's utilize them to understand God's will in our lives. Through this discipline, we learn to rely more fully on His strength and grace. Fasting also reminds us of the greatest sacrifice ever made, Jesus laying down His life for our salvation. As we deny ourselves temporarily, let it be a constant reminder of His eternal love for us. Dear brothers and sisters, as we embark on this journey of faith together, let us remember that prayer, almsgiving, and fasting are not mere religious rituals, but powerful tools given to us by God Himself. They strengthen our relationship with Him, deepen our understanding of His love, and equip us to be vessels of hope in a broken world. May we continually grow in these practices, allowing them to shape our lives according to God's will. Let us encourage one another along this path, reminding each other of the hope we have in Christ and the transformative power of these disciplines. Be blessed abundantly as we walk hand in hand with our loving Savior. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Come back.